Software can be very expensive. Whether at home, school, or work, it may be expensive to get all the software that you need. Um, whether you're a student struggling to get by or you're a small business trying to make the most of your your funds, there's a solution to high price software. And that solution is open source software. Open source is software that is that they've opened up the coding to to allow anybody to go in and edit and improve and write. It's kind of a community collaborative effort. Now there is a software that is um, it's an office productivity software that uh, can help you do things that you would normally do in Microsoft Word or Excel or PowerPoint and just Microsoft Office type things. Now this isn't produced by Microsoft but it is something um, that's very similar to Microsoft Office. So I'm just going to search from within Sterling Teaches right here. There's a Google search bar and I'm just going to search for open source. Actually instead of open source I'm going to search for open office which is one that I already know and openoffice.org the free and open productivity suite. So let's go ahead and select that one. And right here it says I want to learn more about OpenOffice.org. I want to download OpenOffice. I need help with OpenOffice. I want to do more. I want to participate. Well, let's just go ahead and download this. Now, OpenOffice, I'm going to go ahead and just click on this. And it says to download now, so I'm just going to click on that. It tells us we're going to download. It asks us that we can contribute, whether it's financially or sharing or helping out in some way. Uh, you can help contribute to OpenOffice. You, if you are a proponent of free software, you can help them out, whether it's by, once you get uh, good at using OpenOffice, you can provide feedback, you can tell others how to use it, you can spread the word. So that's something to do. I'm just going to go ahead and save this file and let it download so it can install. It takes a little while for this file to download. As you can see, it's 127 megabytes. You can see other files that I've downloaded for other videos, such as Cute Writer EXE and PDF Creator, both programs that allow you to uh, make PDFs from your computer. So if you're interested in making PDFs, you can go ahead and check out my videos on creating a PDF Creator or Cute Writer. It does take it a little while to download, but once it's downloaded, we'll go through the steps of how to install OpenOffice. So it's downloaded there. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and I'm going to hit OK. It was just asking me if I wanted to run an executable file. It's asking me again. I'm going to run it. Once it installs, it, or the window opens up for it to install. You click on Next. It asks you where you want to install it. You can change this. I'm going to go ahead and keep it uh, where it's at. Actually, I'm going to change this to just openoffice.org. Make it a little bit easier for me to read. And I'm going to go ahead and unpack. I'm going to click Next. Now make sure to go through it and read the license agreement and if you accept it go ahead and click on accept terms hit next and I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as my username that is my organization as well storingteaches.com and I'm going to install this for anyone who uses this computer otherwise it would only install it just for me I'm going to go ahead and hit next now you can customize your installation but I'm going to keep it as the complete install so I hit next and this lets you go ahead and say uh, it lets you set your your open office as default for Microsoft Word, Excel, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. If you already have that on your computer, well you probably wouldn't be installing this, but um, if you already have that I'd probably unselect these, but if you're using this as a replacement for Microsoft Office then I would keep those checked. Go ahead and hit next and it's just click on install for it to work and it takes it a couple of minutes for it to install. Just be patient. Once it's completed installing, this window will pop up. Go ahead and click on Finish. Once it's finished, you can go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead and close out of our windows.
and I'm going to go ahead and click on all programs. You can see it's highlighted yellow and Vista that shows you that you have new software installed. So I'm going to click on Open Office Org 2.4 and you can see there's a couple of different uh, programs inside of here. Let me scroll down a little bit more. You have Open, Org, Open Office Org Base. Um, oops, there we go. Which this is, um, it's just kind of like a, a database type program. I think it's comparable to Access. And then you have Calc. This one is a spreadsheet program, so it's comparable to Microsoft um, Excel. Next one you have uh, Draw, which I'm not sure. I haven't tried Draw before, actually. Impress, this one is similar to PowerPoint, so you can create your own presentations. Uh, Math, I haven't used this one before either. This is a newer one. And Writer, uh, so this one is like Word. If I open this up, you can see it opens up and we'll see first of all it asks us to go through and set everything up so I'm going to hit next and I'm going to go ahead and read this I've already read uh, previously so I accept it username and it asks for your username and initials so that it can incorporate this into documents that you write so I'm going to go ahead and click on next and then check for updates. That's a, usually a good idea. That way if there's a bug that they find or if they find something new, uh, it'll automatically update it for you or tell you when there's new updates. And now it asks you to register. I do recommend registering. That way they can uh, know who's using their product and what they need to do. I'm going to register mine later though. So I'll go ahead and click on finish. And you can see this looks very similar to Microsoft Word. In other videos I'll show you how to use this. Uh, and other open office documents. For other video tutorials and trainings, you can always check out sterlingteaches.com.